Are you a self-publisher that's looking for other options beyond paperback or hardcover books? Well, you may want to consider Lulu.com's Spiral Bound Notebooks, and we're going to discuss that in today's video, so make sure that you stay tuned. This is Self Publishing with Dale, where you'll learn how to publish books that sell and build an unstoppable brand. Today, we are going to return to Lulu.com and one of their other neat product features in a spiral bound notebook. I'm always looking for options that authors can begin to diversify their catalog and offer something new to their audience. And one of those features is a spiral bound notebook. And a good friend of the channel, John Wasser, thought he would go ahead and hook me up with the spiral bound notebook to my surprise, actually. I literally just sent me a message and said, here, I'm gonna send you a book and it's gonna match your shirt. Huh? 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 Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So big shout out to John. All right, so uh, today in this self-published book unboxing spinoff, we are going to be focusing on four key metrics. And one of those does not include the actual quality of the content inside or the author itself. And in this instance, it's not necessarily an author per se, uh, but the actual product. It's going to be the quality, the delivery time, the shipping and handling, and back by popular demand, cost and profits to expect. So John whipped together this no content book for Write Drunk at It's Sober, an author's notebook, and uh, he put a little bit of time into a nice little line journal in this spiral bound notebook. When he actually placed the order, this came in what I would consider record time with a little bit of an asterisk. Even though this was ordered in the heat of quarter four in December, this took about two days from the time that it was printed to the time that it arrived on my doorstep. Uh, now, I said there was a bit of an asterisk. It, there was about a week to two week delay, if I can recall. So it does take a little bit of time for it actually to get to you. When it arrived, I was super happy to see it came in a corrugated cardboard box again gold banana sticker to our friends over at lulu.com because in the previous videos when we talked about their print paperback books they had arrived in a bubble wrap envelope and i actually called them out on it in the video and the funny thing is they were very attentive they actually commented in the video and said we'll look into this for you and they actually delivered and they delivered big time on this one and also the previous videos we talked about some of lulu's other products came in corrugated cardboard boxes this means that your product could be manhandled all the way over to your doorstep but it's going to still come in pretty good shape because remember for something like this notebook here we can go into the store and purchase it and get it in mint condition because we don't want to buy products that are all beat up we don't want to have a cover that's ripped or it's got footprints on them. You know, I, I literally, I want to make sure that this comes to me in the best shape possible. So the corrugated cardboard box really ensures that you're going to get this in the best shape possible. So thumbs up, Lulu. Now, when it comes to actual quality, this is fairly interesting. And especially I, I had the conversation with John about this. It, it is a glossy cover, so it's really nice. It has almost, it doesn't feel like the same glossiness as say their print books or even um, their uh, hardback that I had previously was a matte cover. So unfortunately I, I can't have any kind of context when it comes to glossy hardback. But nonetheless, this is a little different. It, it, it feels like it's a bit more like texture to it, if you will. It, it feels, dare I say, closer to something like um, the Ingram Spark glossy covers it's it's kind of got almost like a granulated feel but you're not leaving any kind of print fingerprints on it as you're you're messing with it now when i came in here into the actual pages though these are supposed to be 60 pound paper which is a little bit heavier but to me it it, it feels slightly flimsy uh, in certain areas. Now, I'm not sure if it was because John it has a little bit more print on a particular page. So you, you see he's offering some of his other um, books and offerings here. So there's a little bit more print, so maybe that made it feel a little bit flimsy. And then inside the title page, again, 
it just kind of felt really flimsy. So you can see there's a lot of print heavy. So this could be the same issue I ran into when it came to publishing hardback books through Lulu and Barnes and Noble Press that too much ink will saturate the actual paper to where it feels a little flimsy and it kind of, it's a little bit wavy. But then you get into the actual line portion here, came out just fine. So if you're, you happen to be putting out, say for instance, a fitness book and you wanna do it through a spiral book some sort, keep that in mind that if you're going real image heavy or print heavy, that it may make the actual printout feel a little flimsier. It might be a little wavy to a certain extent. So maybe order a proof before you do something like that. Uh, I definitely want to consider doing fitness books through this. Now, um, in any event, when it comes to the actual delivery time, once again, it was great. The shipping and handling, this is where I had a good conversation with John. He covered a little bit of the cost of everything. The wholesale cost is $5.66, so not terrible. It's not the greatest in the world. It's not like this is the thickest thing in the world, but it does have that spiral binding that will make it a bit more accessible as you're going through and jotting notes. I know for those of you out there that are doing no content books, that's typically the biggest complaint when it comes to using print books, uh, more importantly paperbacks, is that sometimes you gotta kinda force it open and push it down, but then it starts to wear that binding out. But the spiral is really good. It's very accommodating. Now, John didn't price this too much higher. It was actually at about $6.99, and that would make the total profit for him $1.06. Now, here's where we gotta add in the shipping. It was an additional $3.99 plus some tax. This would bring out the grand total of this particular book that he sent to me, about $7.40. It's okay, it's not bad, I I'm not gonna be angry at it, but for a no content book, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, will your customers be willing to spend, say, a little bit more on a no content book that has just lines and it's a spiral binding at, say, $7.40, or will they go to a store? You know, that's gonna be all subjective, it's gonna be what your audience is looking for and the content that you're putting in from cover to cover. Now it's important to note, and this was something that John shared with me and I also was able to confirm with Lulu.com, was there was a differentiation between types of products when it comes to the spiral bound. And that is the spiral bound is more expensive than say their premium bound edition paperback books. So with that being said, you gotta kinda wonder, do you want to print through say the paperback options or the spiral options? Think about what your audience wants to ultimately purchase. Do they want a spiral bound or do they want the print bound? Because you're gonna probably make a lot more through their perfect bound than what you will be with their spiral bound. Take note that with a perfect bound, which is their paperback version, it's about $2.56 versus the actual $5.66 of a spiral bound notebook. That's a $3 difference. Is that something you're willing to shell out when you're ordering proofs or you're ordering a stock that you're gonna to want to say fulfill yourself to your audience? And let's face it, I do like to tell authors to diversify what you have in your author platform and your brand that you can offer to your audience. Will spiral bound notebooks do you any good? Well, that just remains to be seen. You gotta be very creative how can you use this particular tool in a way that your audience would most resonate, that would say, oh, I really need that product. Overall, I really think that the spiral bound option's pretty nice, but the one limitation that you have is you can only fulfill it through Lulu's platform. This means there's no distribution off of the Lulu platform. This can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing because keeping in mind that when you're going through, say, Lulu and printing out the print book editions, be it paperback or hardback, and you're distributing over into Amazon, you're taking a considerable cut on your royalties, and you make nearly three times as much in royalties on Lulu's platform. So if I were to recommend anything to you, and if you're utilizing this, it's going to be a case of delivering the traffic over to Lulu or taking advantage of the Shopify option that they have with Lulu Express and Shopify. And I've discussed this in previous videos, but all that to say this, that Lulu has an agreement with Shopify. So if you have Shopify that's attached to say your website, you can attach your Lulu Express account and have all of the print orders sent through that option. And the nice thing is you keep all of the royalties. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't mind saying so myself. 
and or you can always just order a big back stock of this. I don't always recommend this, but you can order say 10 to 20 of these spiral bound notebooks that you can distribute at networking events or you can put in as a you know sold through your email list option you can combine this with other options that you have you maybe you have a t-shirt or you have a calendar that's fulfilled through lulu things like that that you can offer to your reading audience that they would really enjoy and speaking of other lulu products you're going to definitely want to make sure that you go back and take a look at what i thought about their print books because their print books are absolutely stellar and find out why I feel that way and how they compare to their competitors in this next video. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. And this was by far the fastest. It wasn't rush shipped, it was just standard shipping and it got to my house in five days. That's right, five days.